Guys, it's Jan, not a real farm. Good morning. So guys, we had another rainstorm <laughs> roll through here last night. And it brought over two inches of rain in a matter of a couple of hours. So I'm so happy that we, I know that there's a lot of water there, but I'm so happy that we actually dug the trenches around the greenhouse and in through the back of the beds but everything is covered. Look at this. Look how much water collected on the other side of the driveway where my new future skating pond is gonna be. And the trenches that were dug in the front of the garden, those are full. The trenches in the back of the garden are full. Look at the water that accumulated still around the greenhouse. Now I'm going to take you back to the pond because I want to show you something that happened. It's a beautiful morning, but it's going to be short lived. We've got another rainstorm rolling through. So my neighbor works at a peat bog and he said that the rain monitor registered four and a half inches of rain at the bog where they are. So that's about 30 kilometers away from where I live. I mean, I looked at the radar last night, guys, and it showed nothing. But uh, all we had was, it just all of a sudden just came out of nowhere. The rain was actually going sideways. So I'm gonna show you, if I can get up here, what's inside the pond. First of all, I want you to take a look and see how much water is actually accumulated in this pond. Okay, it rained for about four hours. Now this may look shallow to you, except if you look all the way on the end, that is my husband's tractor bucket. You can only see the very top of the tractor bucket. Okay, so all that water poured down into, this, into the pond And now what we have to do is <laughs> pump out the pond to dig out the tractor bucket. It's there because we were working on the pond, working on the pond every day, every day, every day. And uh, like I said, the radar last night was clear. So there was absolutely nothing that showed that we were going to get a severe uh, rainstorm the way that, <laughs> the way that we did. So it took us by surprise. So the tractor bucket is 18 inches high. And I realized that the rain is accumulating like this down there because it's on a slope, but it was enough to almost cover it. And the mosquitoes are loving it out here this morning. Oh, look at all the water. I said to my husband, this was the perfect year to actually have this pond filled. But this is what we're going to be doing today, guys. We got to be pumping the pond out and digging out the tractor bucket around the other side here. There it is. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway. I just wanted to share that with you guys this morning to show you what we got to do after uh, my husband gets home from work this evening. It flooded basically, you know, anything that was flat, we've got big pools of water in. I just cannot believe the amount of rain that we got in three hours. And the lightning was horrible. So it was a pretty scary evening. I had no internet, no connection to anything and um, couldn't really, you know, do anything. So. Just glad everybody was home safe under the under our roof. Extra chores on the homestead, guys. <laughs> what a rainstorm. See you soon.